वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स आई एम यूर एस एस टी टीचर वंदना जोशी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग एस एस टी जो स्टूडेंट्स इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ इन द फॉरेस्ट वेयर वी हैव स्टडीड अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फॉरेस्ट सो टूडे वी विल स्टडी मोर नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ अंडर विच टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी नंबर वन the grassland number 2 desert vegetation and number 3 is the tundra vegetation so let's start a short intro first the grasslands where the vegetation found in the form of grass that is known as grassland which is due to the less water availability desert vegetation the vegetation which is grown in the desert area that is known as the desert vegetation and the next is tundra vegetation which is grown near around the tundra region in which we were going to study the areas the vegetation also the wildlife of these three areas so first we will see the grasslands first grassland what are the grassland means a land of grass so students the vegetation of grassland is generally on that areas we are getting in which a continuous uh, cover of grass is also uh, situated Uh, in our uttarakhand we are saying it bugyal like uh, these are also uh, known as the pastures of the animals and these are the uh, means we can say the continuous cover of grass so we can say the vegetation is dominated by a continuous cover of grass due to the lack of water and uh, some features are like this that uh, the high growth of vegetation is not there due to that the forest are not there and the grass is growing on that area it is very suitable area for the grass so uh, why what is the reason behind the uh, grasslands why the lands are covered with the grass that is they are mostly found in the regions of the low rainfall means the availability of water is very low in that area that's why these are found in that areas where the rainfall is very less students these grasslands are also divided into two parts so as already uh, in the forest we have studied in the grasslands also the grasslands are known as the tropical grasslands and the number 2 is the temperate grassland so students tropical zones and the temperate zones already i have shown to you in which where the rainfall is very good or the average there the forests are grown but the areas where the rainfall is very less these are coming under the grasslands and which is divided into two parts that is tropical grassland and the temperate grasslands so now we will see what are the tropical grasslands what are the temperate grasslands and their wildlife so students first of all we will see the tropical grasslands uh the tropical grassland can be found on both side of the equator as already i have shown to you in the previous video about the tropical areas so the area that is receives about 500 to 1500 mm of rainfall in a year and it is has temperature uh, ranging between 15 degree centigrade to 35 degree centigrade and uh, if we uh, talk about the common grasses the grass grows here 3 to 4 meter in height and popularly known as elephant grass i think so you might be uh, recalling in your mind about the gulliver stories okay so it is looking like that the elephant grass many parts of these grasslands are used for grazing or farming 
and uh, if we talk about the different name of these grasses so the uh, different name of uh, different different part of the words are like campos in brazil and argentina and uruguay parkland in america and aeons in venezuela savannas also known as in africa so might be you are friendly with the savanna name okay so these grasslands lies on either side of the rainforest in africa brazilian plateau of south america deccan plateau of india northern australia kenya tanzania and zimbabwe and students if we talk about the wildlife on that area the tropical grasslands are home to a very large variety of animals so the animals which we are getting here these are the uh, wild beasts antelopes rhinoceros lions cheetah elephant buffalo zebra giraffe jackals and uh, kangaroo and emu are the common wildlife in the australian grasslands vultures weavers and the bustards are also common bird species in that area the second one is the temperate grasslands the temperate grasslands already i told you in the previous video which are the temperate zones so the temperate grasslands are found in the area between desert and the temperate forest in the northern america argentina and eurasia eurasia means europe and asia temperate grasslands are dried or colder than tropical grasslands as the amount of precipitation is very low the grass here are short and less dense and trees are almost absent so the grass is very short and the trees are totally absent in that areas and uh, if we talk about the different name the temperate grasslands are called steppes in eurasia means europe and asia prairies in north america pampas in south america veld in south africa and down in australia and they are found in the southern canada central america southern australia argentina and central russia the speciality of the grass is the grass here is healthy green short and nutritious for the cattle and sheep rearing so that is very use, uh, useful uh, we can say usability of these type of grasslands and if we talk about the wildlife students in that area so swift moving animals like antelope horses wild dogs wolves jaguars pumps rabbits giraffes wild asses and leopards are found here and the kites eagles and owls are also found in that areas friends now let's see what is the desert vegetation so desert you know the dry area or the area where the rainfall is very scanty or the rainfall uh, is very low the area due to the lack of water is totally dry so that is known as the desert area so due to the lack of water for many years the vegetation is not grown here so the whatever the vegetation which is grown in that area that is uh, totally we can say it is uh, conserving the water that type of thick type of streams uh, type of deserts are there so uh, let's see what are these so first of all we can say the shortage of water for most of the years in that area that's why these areas are known as the desert area or uh, if we talk about the vegetation in that areas the vegetation in the desert area is only natural vegetation found in the hot desert area like thorny bushes cacti and few short trees especially the speciality of the trees which we are getting in the desert area that these are having the thorny bushes and the needle shape of leaves and second is Uh, the stem of that uh, trees are very thick or uh, uh, or soft as well so uh, what is the speciality of that see if the needle shape of leaves are there like the needle shape okay so a needle shape of uh, leaves are there on the trees so it can be conserve more and more water and the evaporation process is not there due to the needle shape of leaves and the stem because it is uh, very soft 
due to uh, that uh, that stem is uh, preserving the water inside it so that is the reason behind these type of uh, uh, vegetation in the desert area and one more specialty the areas which are having the oasis uh, so that areas are having a kind of date palm trees as well because of the availability of the water and that areas are having a little bit vegetation so the areas of nile valley in the sahara desert are known as the um, oasis of the sahara desert and having a good type of vegetation if we talk about the areas of these deserts so these are the sahara desert kalahari desert atacama thar desert and many more areas are there in the world which are known for their desert vegetation now let's see what is the wildlife in that desert area especially students if we talk about the wildlife in that desert area so commonly we are getting one name that is the ship of the desert that is camel yes camel is the main important uh, wildlife or we can say animal in that area apart from the camel the hyenas jackals some kind of reptiles lizards and uh, some uh, salamanders are also we are getting in the desert areas and desert are also special uh, specially known for few kind of uh, species of the scorpions as well so now we will see what are the tundra vegetation so students as already we have seen in the previous video the tundra areas are where uh, these areas are situated so uh, here the vegetation which we are getting that is uh, are, uh, according to the very cold areas in the polar region and the high mountain the extreme cold condition do not allow growth of vegetation on large scales so generally we are getting the blooms in the summer season and uh, we can say uh, the precipitation because it is very less in that area that is around 38 cm and uh, only small plants which can grow quickly in the warm seasons lasting between 2 to 4 month when the summer comes in. okay and uh, um, we can say the flower also bloom in the short growing season and the tundra vegetation is found in the north america northern europe northern asia and the north pole so only flowers and mosses like vegetation are also there and uh, out of this not any special vegetation in the tundra areas and what is the wildlife yes because it is the cold area so the wildlife the animals are uh, having the thick skin and the fur so the arctic tundra has animals such as the reindeers and arctic hares blue foxes sables polar bears musk oxen and many more like a uh, famous is the walrus and uh, if we talk about the birds so sand piper is a famous uh, bird in that area students today we have studied three type of vegetation that is the grassland desert vegetation and the tundra vegetation if we talk about the human activity in the different type of vegetation so the forest type of vegetation is very good for the human activity because the climate is a uh, very uh, moderate for the human beings but in the desert polar region and uh, grassland areas the climate can be very harsh availability of water is very less so the human activities are very less in that area the human beings who are living in that areas are suffering from a kind of very uh, we can say a harsh type of uh, climates and they are having a very struggleful life students here the revision of chapter 6 geography is complete here i am providing you few questions and their answer which will be helpful to you to learn and revise this chapter